okay so skincare is done skin prep all of that shebang is done I'm gonna go in with my primer this is the rare beauty primer by Selena Gomez I feel like my lightning is definitely working against me but that's okay because this video is getting filmed okay no matter what no matter what is happening so I'm gonna start off with my primer um, and I kind of want to add a story time to just get ready with me so I mean it's like get ready with me so I might as well do something you know and I have a story time which I've been dying to tell you guys so I might as well tell you now <laughs> towards the beginning of this year okay I am um, not even towards the beginning of this year from like the end of last year through to the beginning of this year I made a decision that I was gonna look for a job because your girl needs money I mean I need money to survive I need money to survive I need money to take care of my, my family you know I said okay I am gonna look for a job I said the best kind of job that I could look for was a work from home job because I'm a mom um, recent mom so I needed to be home you know just so that I could take care of the kid so I said I was gonna look for a work from home job that was how it all started okay <laughs> that was literally how it all started next I'm gonna go in with my foundation this is my this is the combo I've been loving of late okay this is the Maybelline tinted moisturizer and then my all-time favorite Maybelline Maybelline what would I, I, Maybelline Super Stay. This is the Maybelline Super Stay um, foundation. Yeah, that's just a yeah, it's just a Super Stay foundation. I'm in the shade 375 here, and then I'm in the shade 370. So a mixture of this is just like in between, and it's really perfect for my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I said, oh, I'm gonna look for a work from home job because um, it's it was going to be the best option for me you know so I could be able to take care of the kid and then I went on a hunt looking for work from home job and then eventually I got some I actually got some on LinkedIn which was a really good um, job that I got I mean everything about the job was what I was looking for it was the position that I was going on the hunt for okay so I got the job they scheduled me for my interview as they should so I'm like okay everything is going well mind you I've never done a work from home job okay and I have never like sought out to look for a work from home job so I didn't know shit about it I'm so sorry but literally I didn't know anything about it so I just didn't know so I, I had my interview fast forward um, I had been employed <laughs> I had been employed I got the email um, they sent my offer letter and if you know you know that okay then it means that things are going well I've signed my offer letter I've sent it back to them so it means that we're in business that's what I was thinking at least that's what I was thinking I have my offer letter everything is okay and then I have a date where I'm supposed to start working so I'm just like prepping myself you know getting ready to start working from home it's a good deal the pay rate is good honestly I feel like that's what should have caught me the pay was insanely good <laughs> So later my best friend was like, even the pay was a little iffy because I didn't know. It felt like, mm, who's going to give you that much? For the position of um, an administrative assistant to work from home, I was getting paid almost $30 an hour, which is probably okay for somewhere. I don't know. Maybe someone somewhere is taking that. But over here in Massachusetts, I know that is not supposed to be it but then again I'm like okay maybe because it's work from home they pay a little extra because I'm using my um, electricity and my internet and you know so probably they have to pay a little more 
and mind you they also said that they were gonna send me equipment which is normal okay but like I said, I didn't know anything about work from home. So I didn't even know like what kind of equipment they were supposed to send. Like I didn't know they were supposed to specify sending things in some of the emails that was going back and forth between myself and them. So I mean I was just there. They said they'll send me equipment, they'll send me um equipment. So I said okay. And then um later I got another email saying that they'll send me a check to buy my equipment. That is where the bell is. The ding dongs. <laughs> the ding dongs is there. Like they said they were gonna send me a check to buy the equipment. I'm like, okay, maybe this is gonna be a four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar check, six hundred dollar check. That should be able to buy a laptop, a webcam, you know, just the little things and I, I I know. I know the prices of these things. Then okay, um, I'm gonna wait for you guys to send that check. So I can get my equipment, get my office set up. Cause it was it sounded so freaking realistic. They said they were gonna send um people to come and inspect your home office every three months to make sure that your space is still okay, like you're still doing good business and you're not just because it's work from home, you're not being overly comfortable, which made so much sense. So I felt like, okay, that makes sense. It means that they're a proper business because they'll come and check, you know, be sure that I'm doing the job and everything. So I'm like, okay, I trust them. Just trust me, nothing. There wasn't an iota of mistrust. I didn't feel iffy, not even for a second. It's, I'm not even joking. I didn't feel iffy for a second. So under normal circumstance, I'm supposed to get my equipment and everything. I'm supposed to be all set up before I start working. And my job is supposed to start working on January 28th. Tell me why by January 28th no equipment was here. Literally nothing was here, okay? No check for the equipment was here. No equipment was here emails back and forth has started being you know it wasn't so forthcoming when i send a message it takes days for my hiring manager to get back to me and i started feeling off about it i'm like i'm supposed to start work on 28 and i haven't heard from anyone i haven't received my equipment i didn't even care for a check because obviously i haven't started working so why are you supposed to send me a check it makes sense do not fucking send me a check but I haven't got my equipment. I don't mind because I have equipment at home that will allow me to work from home. I didn't say I wanted equipment, but my best friend said that um, it's normal that they send you an equip um, they send you a set of equipment to work from home because companies do that. They have like um, a particular equipment that they all use, so they're gonna send you that, and then you can work from home just so that you guys are all on like the same platform, yada yada. But I hadn't received nothing. I haven't gotten an email. I hadn't gotten an email saying that. Um, oh this is what is happening and you haven't heard from us because this is what is happening this is nothing i literally hadn't heard from anyone so i was just there and i'm like this is me i'm actively looking for a job it's not like it's a joke <laughs> you know i don't know what they were thinking i'm like this is not a joke this is someone who's actively looking for a job and i have put my every other search on hold because you guys have given me an offer letter and not just an offer a letter not just an offer letter but an offer that was good see what i'm saying they gave me a good offer which i wasn't getting from any other company every other company's rate was just mm, i didn't want to settle so i got that one i'm like oh my goodness that is my prayer that's what i've been praying for it's work from home it allows me to take out my kid and still work so why not sign me freaking up and then these things started happening. Mind you, even before um, this whole equipment situation, I hadn't heard from them. I wasn't hearing from them as much as I was supposed to be hearing from them. I mean, you employed me. I'm your employee. You're supposed to be keeping up with me. I'm supposed to be doing onboarding, you know, doing something that shows that I'm actually going to be working on January 28th. And I, I wasn't hearing from them as much. So I decided that I was going to actively go back into searching for a new job because it was just beginning to feel funny, okay? Fast forward to February 1st, 2nd, I still hadn't heard anything from them. 
and then I kept sending messages back and then finally I got the check in the mail I finally got the check in the mail can you guess how much money they had put on the check three thousand nine hundred dollars three freaking thousand nine hundred dollars for a job that I hadn't started working for a job that didn't know me they were sending me three thousand dollars yes almost four thousand freaking dollars <laughs> to me I'm like oh okay in the beginning I didn't think anything honestly in the beginning I didn't think nothing it just I just felt like okay people over here have money okay companies over here have money and this is I don't know I don't know how they pay people I don't know how these kind of things work like I said I didn't know jack about it um, so they said they'll send me money for equipment okay so I'm like I get the check and then I send back an email and then I'm like I have received a check in the mail worth so so and so I mean worth three thousand nine hundred dollars and I wanted to know what kind of equipment do they want me to buy because I wanted to know what kind of equipment costs so much that you have to send me three thousand nine hundred dollars because if I'm getting just a freaking laptop and even getting an office table office chair like if I'm getting everything new I don't think it will still cost me three thousand dollars I don't think so so what equipment do you want me to get because I, I was wondering maybe they wanted to meet me to get an extra printer fax machine like I don't know what is it why would you send me 3,900 worth of check just for work from home I'm confused now fast forward to a few days into February I get an email from them literally the same email that I got before my check came in so sorry you haven't heard from us da 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 we're gonna send you a check and please deposit the check and oh, oh 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 I think I'm skipping one part mind you again yeah I tried to deposit the check into my bank account um, I tried to deposit the check when I got the check and then I had emailed them and then they were replying so I tried to deposit the check no 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 I think I'm missing a part so they sent me the check and then they told me they sent me an email after I sent them um, an email that I had gotten the check they sent me an email saying that I should deposit the check and let them know like send them a receipt or send them something that shows that um, the check has been like deposited into my account so I'm like okay I'm gonna deposit the check because obviously I have to deposit the check if I can be able to use the check so I try to deposit the check into my account and usually when you do check deposits into your account over your phone it takes I'd say about a day or two or literally 24 hours you should see it in your account if the check doesn't have any problem so now I put the check into my account the next day I check my account still nothing two days after I check my account still nothing and then I send them an email saying that um, I mean I started to feel funny about it so now I decided that I was gonna also play a game a game what is what the hell is game <laughs> So I started feeling funny about it, so I decided that I was also going to play a game, a game okay? Because the check hasn't showed, I wasn't hearing from them. Um, and then I told them that I tried to deposit the check, but my bank called me saying that the check has a problem, so it couldn't be deposited. So what are they saying about that? Like, what's going on? blackout nobody was texting me back nobody was e emailing me back literally nothing i feel like my lightning is not doing justice but i hate it but i also i'm just gonna keep filming because this story has got to be told so that you people out there can be aware i'm pretty sure a lot of people knew 
I was just a dumb one, okay? So later when um, I was in here from nobody, you know, and like I said, I also decided that, okay, I'm going to play a game. I'm like, the check hasn't deposited because really I, hadn't I couldn't go through. Um, and then even though my bank hadn't reached out to me yet, I figured it was funny. Two, three days, four days after, <laughs> a few days after I tried to deposit a check and I wasn't hearing back from them, yada yada. I tried to log in into my bank account. Even before I tried to log in into my bank account, I hear from them again. I mean, they sent a message, an email again saying that they were going to send me a check as though they hadn't sent the same message before. They sent it again. And two, three days after they sent that email, I got another check in the mail. The same amount of money. So I figured, oh, maybe they made a mistake with the first check. So that's why it didn't work. So they sent me another check just to sort it out. So, okay. So I'm like, okay. And my damn ass self, I was so stupid for doing that. I was literally so stupid for doing that. I'm looking back or thinking back to myself. Why the hell did I do that? I went ahead and deposited the second check into my account thinking the first check had a problem so the bank was going to notice that oh this one had a problem so let's take this one out and put this one in because this is the correct one not knowing both checks were fake okay both checks were 3900 3900 so now in my account the if both added up it was over seven thousand dollars so i'm pretty sure the bank was thinking that's uh i mean seven thousand dollars is not a problem i don't think that the bank felt like the money was a little funny they the checks were was just not working so that's how they felt like it was a little funny both checks bounced and so what happened how i realized was that i was trying to log in into my bank account on my phone you know because i wanted to see like what was going on if like the checks had any problem i just wanted to see like what was going on if they had been deposited so i could tell them you know because i wanted to start working and if i deposit the checks i'm able to buy my equipment and then i'm able to start working so to me that was the math i tried to log in into my bank account and it's not working <laughs> i don't know i'm like wait hold on because two weeks before i had gone to my bank to you know do some resetting on my app change my password because i had um problems logging in um a few weeks ago so i decided to go in to get a check because when i called customer service they said that i had to go in person um to you know do some verification in my id what not not so i went there did that got it sorted came back home now i'm able to log into my bank account and then now these checks have um like they i couldn't log into my bank account since after i pulled the checks in so i had nothing to think of than to think that the checks was the problem because if because before i hadn't put the check or before i put the check i was okay putting like logging into my bank and doing transactions and whatnot but after i put the check i couldn't do nothing so to me, it just started feeling funny. To me, that's when I started to feel like um, something was going on. And then I started to feel like, oh my goodness, is this going to affect me in any way? Will it look like I have like involved myself in some fraudulent activity? Because that isn't what it was like. <laughs> I didn't want my bank to think because I was looking up on the internet and some people were saying that you, if it happens like that, your bank is going to think that you're um, doing some fraudulent activity and then they're going to report your credit and so many things. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. I don't know jack about it. I don't know nothing. So they were saying that um, sometimes they're able to report your your um credit 
or they're able to report something something and then you're not able to create a bank account with no other bank again and I'm like no it's not like I want to create a bank account with a different bank but I at least I want to be able to have the right to do so and the crazy I mean the annoying part to me was how is it that this stupid work from home company is going to mess me up and then they're just going to be chilling? Why am I the one who has to deal with this bullshit? And then I started to blame myself. So after the bank incident, I'm like, they sent me another email saying, we're so sorry, you couldn't start work on um, January 28th. So now the new starting date was February 14th, Valentine's Day. Freaking Valentine's Day. Who starts work on, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Valentine's Day was not a holiday. It's not like an actual holiday, but who freaking works on a, who starts work on a Valentine's Day? <laughs> I had done no freaking onboarding. Um, I didn't know Jack. I mean, I knew the company knew what they did. I knew my position I knew what I was supposed to do because I have experience in my position, but I haven't trained on like your job I don't know what systems you guys use your platforms everything. I don't know Jack about it But I was even really worried about that. I was worried about the fact that I was actively looking for a job and these people were just wasting my damn time That was my problem okay so now i get this email saying that i'm gonna start work on february 14th which to me obviously it didn't make sense so i know that there's no way that these people are legit and then i said okay i'm gonna do my research i'm gonna start looking into this company what i actually realized was the company is legit there's a company there but the company doesn't exist as a work from home so what i realized is the person who i was dealing with which happened to be my hiring manager she was the fake person it was a she not a boy okay not a man not a male not a he object nothing about a man it was a woman who had kids at least that's what her profile picture said <laughs> she had kids um and then for some reason something said i should look into the woman and just like ignore the company i just started looking into the woman okay because the company looked legit i was honestly going to report her to the company but later i felt like there was literally no point to follow up on this because i don't know there was no point for me so i started looking into the woman i went back to her linkedin page and she wasn't so active on LinkedIn, okay? Like her profile was there. Um, everything is like all set. So when you go to her profile, obviously you see her work history and like company she's worked with before, all of that good stuff. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me go to Instagram <laughs> because I trust Instagram. I've been on Instagram way longer than I've been on LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn whatever it is so I knew that um, on Instagram I could get a clue so I went on Instagram searched her name it is literally the same photos on LinkedIn that she had on Instagram she had extra photos which is this person had extra photos of her family her husband her kids and looking at her pictures this is really no shade to hell whatsoever i mean i don't care if i'm giving her shit at this point because she tried to mess me up and i don't know if it's her that's what i'm saying i don't know if it's her or somebody just used her picture to create a linkedin profile to just scam people i don't know so i look at her page and i look at her kids and her family and everything and they look like a very like reserved family she doesn't look like someone who could possibly do that but then you could also never really judge anyone just by looking at them okay people are so different inside <laughs> so I was looking at her page and she she has like a GoFundMe account for something and then she's doing some charity thing for something but she didn't look like a corporate woman she wasn't giving corporate she wasn't giving someone who works in an office she wasn't giving hiring manager vibe she wasn't giving an hr vibe you know what i'm saying she wasn't giving someone who even worked at a company that was trying to hire me because the company i was expecting to see something because i know the company so i was expecting to see like 
you know someone who looks like someone who works from that company she didn't look like it but she had a boutique okay she has she i don't know if it's a boutique she has some shop situation where she sells clothes <laughs> and then everything started looking like you know when you're watching cartoons and there's this math formulas i don't know if i find it out put it on the screen but she was literally selling clothes and um doing like go find me trying to raise money on the internet and then i'm like this is the same person who's trying to get me the job so what is going on why is she doing that why does she have that page <laughs> is she the one <laughs> i started asking myself oh my goodness is she the one who is trying to give me the job and then it started to hit me am i getting scammed did someone literally go out of their way to scam me <laughs> why would you do that <laughs> i'm the worst person to scam because i'm so i can be so dumb sometimes i literally ignored every red flag okay i ignored every red flag i thought the red flags were there when i and then later when everything happened it started to hit me that all of the word red flags were there this whole time and then i just ignored it i just ignored it because i was looking for a job so bad i wasn't looking at no red flags everything was a freaking green flag to me okay everything was a freaking green flag to me so i was not looking at no red flag whatsoever it wasn't i don't want to say scam scam but someone was definitely trying to mess with me and then i'm like okay um I'm convinced but I decided that I was gonna call my bank um, I decided I was gonna call my bank to find out what was going on and why I couldn't log in into my account so I call my bank's customer service and this guy over the phone he was like mm, um, I don't know mind you the person who picked up transferred me to the technical guys because my situation was now a technical problem so a technical guy had to handle me so this technical guy is on the phone with me and then he's like um for some reason he's not able to have me logging but the only time that it happens like this is because um the only time that it happens like this is when someone's account has been locked or closed by the bank okay the question he asked me um that hit me he said have you recently done anything in your account that um is a little off <laughs> that was literally what the guy asked me he was like have you done anything in your account recently that felt a little you know and then i'm like mm. i mean i knew that i had done something but i was no one was gonna say that i had done something okay so he doesn't judge me over the phone because i was not going to explain myself the whole thing with the work from home and and plus low-key i felt like if i explain myself everybody's gonna say i'm dumb because the the red flags was there like everything looks like was fake from the beginning but because I just needed a job so bad, I didn't care. <laughs> I just needed the job. Um, so he said that and I'm like, oh, mm -mm. Was, I tried to deposit a check and I don't know. And he was like, oh yeah, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Um, so I think you should go to the bank and get it sorted. You know how these people are. <laughs> I think you should go to the bank and get it sorted in person. Uh, I'm sure they would like to you to do some id verification and whatnot and if you could explain to them at the bank too and then i'm like okay yeah that's true um but then deep down i felt like oh my god what am i going to put myself in i was just freaking looking for a job is this so bad Ugh. my bank account has been locked or closed or whatever it is I don't have access to my bank account which means that I don't have access to so many things that I had to do and um, that day was a snowstorm it was a Sunday so I couldn't go to the bank I could you know it was just I was just feeling like what in the heavens um, I'm gonna go in with my blush see I think I talked I stopped talking about the makeup at a point but it's coming together okay love that i look and what it looks like but after the bank incident and after checking their instagram i mean my hiring manager's instagram 
not the company's instagram because like i said the company i feel like they're legit but it's just someone who sort of did an identity theft on them so So um, after doing that, I just made up my mind that I was gonna, you know, forget everything, just stay away from them. And then I said that um, I'm gonna go back into looking for the jobs. So that's what I did. I went back into looking for the jobs and then looking for another work from home job. And then I got scammed again. Yay! <laughs> Literally, yay! I got scammed again. Okay, for the second time two times in a row and then i started saying what is happening to me <laughs> because the year had just started and that's not how i wanted to start my 2022 that's literally how my year started guys that is literally how my year started i got scammed by a second company who um was a work from home job which also required that i do literally the same job it's the same qualification that i have i mean it's the qualification that i have was what i was looking for so it's literally the same kind of job i was going to be doing for this second person um but the second person sounded real okay sounded like an older lady who had their family business and then they wanted see i don't even know i don't even know why i just kept believing this people okay so um i also got that job on linkedin linkedin was not good to me this year I'm never looking for a job on LinkedIn again, ever, except, I don't know, except if it's a job that I actually do know, and then I'm going to look for them on LinkedIn, but if I'm actually going to go for, like, do job hunting, it's not going to be on LinkedIn, because that's, like, one place that two people scammed me, two, two solid people scammed me. So for Lippy, I'm going to use the new Fenty Beauty um, Icon Lipstick. This is in the shade Major Magnet. You know, if you haven't already caught the review, I did a review. If you haven't already caught the review, I'll link it up here. Um, and you're missing out, okay? That review was so good, so check it out. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that I think Major Magnets is my vibe, okay? For days when I don't want to do too much, like today, I'll go for Major Magnets. It's my everyday lippy shade. It's such a beautiful shade. I messed it up, I'm not going to lie. That at a time I was doing something and I did something and then it, it's messed up so I can't really get it to like go back in see it's not going back in yet it's messed up but she good okay she good <laughs> but guys honestly after um, that whole thing happened and then the second people also tried to scam me I felt like every hope of getting a good work from home job literally went out the door um, I just lost hope and also lost any love that I had for the whole work from home shebang because I was hoping to work from home and still be able to be a mom and it's not like when I don't work from home I'm not a mom but you know it's it's easier to do that if you like work from home um, so I just stopped looking for any work from home option and not honestly and I stopped really going back to LinkedIn for job options um, I'm not gonna say that LinkedIn doesn't have good job options they do it just didn't work for me okay so um, the good thing is I looked for other options not other I mean I look for other jobs and eventually i got a good one which is a job that i'm doing right now which i love i love my company i love everybody um at my workplace all my colleagues are so beautiful people you know so i feel like low-key the universe didn't want me to settle for anything um less than i deserved okay so all those things and all those things were also supposed to happen as an eye opener for me because I wouldn't have never known because after that happened I went on the internet to look um, into like work from home jobs and there are a thousand and one complaints about work from home jobs a lot of people have had my story before a lot of people have been scammed before wait let me change into something really nice you know because the look is done so let me put on some jewelry, change into something nice, and let me close up the video. Because I feel like I'm closing up the video. 
still looking like that so <laughs> give me one second all right let me get this together and then i'll be back okay guys oh i like the white against the gold and my eyeshadow and my hair everything is giving okay so as i was saying um after that happened literally every that's my daughter so you guys should just ignore it okay i'm a mom so you're gonna hear a lot of baby sounds <laughs> which is normal um but like i was saying every hope to get like a good work from home job literally went out the door <laughs> so i just like closed my mind off on getting a work from home job now i just wanted to see the company in person <laughs> okay i just wanted to see the people in person i wanted to deal with an actual human being that i know that i could go to and even if it was going to be a work from home job i wanted it to be in my state you know i want the company to be in my state so that if i have any problems whatsoever i could just get out the car go to the company say hey you know like pull up and say what are you doing like what's going on you know so i wasn't going to look for an actual work from home job again and like i said fast forward i got a job which is a job that i'm currently doing which I love so much. It's been two weeks there and I must say I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes I like to say not everything happens for a reason because sometimes it's just our own stupidness and um, a lot of the red flags were there. I just decided to ignore it. So sometimes it's not about everything happening for a reason. Sometimes you just got to be extra vigilant, okay? Sometimes you have to be extra smart and extra vigilant at some of these things. But also sometimes these things will just happen to you and you can't do just about it so this is me sharing my story and then I hope that someone out there somewhere is gonna get use out of me sharing this little work from home scam that happened to me earlier this year I mean it's still early in the year but in January see what I'm saying you get what I'm saying right <laughs> So basically guys, that's what it is. I'm looking at myself in a mirror because I'm feeling really good. And I haven't put on makeup in such a long time. A long time is two weeks, but it's a long time for me. Okay, so please leave me alone. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much it guys. I um, thought I'd do a little life update today because I haven't filmed in a long time. Plus I wanted to sort of update you guys on the reason why I've been away. I've just been working. Um, it requires that I work every day of the week, so it's quite a lot on me. Um, it's not a lot on me, but it's just quite a lot balancing that as well as doing my videos. So now I have to find a way to do my videos and still work because it's not like you guys care anywhere. You just want the content, so the content is going to come. Um, but it's just trying to find balance, okay? So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a lot more vlogs than I do sit down videos. Wherever the content goes, we go that's what it's gonna be okay um but yeah that's it that's it guys comment below if you like the makeup give the video a huge thumbs up if you like the makeup as well as enjoy the story time that came along with doing the face okay and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that i'd love for you to be a member of the family please and give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it comment if you you know all the shebang i don't want to go back and say it again you know me i'm gonna be saying it two three times and i don't want to so please like the video do what you can do do what you gotta do and um follow me on instagram akusia benhini okay akusia benhini on instagram as well as on all social media platforms i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye